Announcing the arrival of our honored guest, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines. He is being welcomed by the 29th Chief PNP Police General Benjamin Accorda Jr. for the arrival honors. Ang kamot pandangal upang libutin. Ladies and gentlemen, is the President, Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., together with Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. and the Battalion Commander Cadet First Class Mark Jordan Martinez. Pinu, tanggal, tak. Pinu, tahan dulu lah. Pris. Bama. Tak. Pinu, ngapu ang tanggal.
Pinig, payag, mga kasama. Sinapabot ng ating mahal na Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., ang kanyang taus-pusong pasasalamat magbibigay sa kanya ng parangal sa umagang ito. The arrival honors have been completed. Warm applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Our honored guest, once again, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines. A warm applause, please. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, the home of the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Today, we will witness another milestone in the history of the PNP, the change of command ceremony, retirement honors for Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr., and oath-taking and donning of rank ceremony for the 30th Chief Philippine National Police. The ceremony will now begin. You just heard the attention call. Magsitayo po tayong lahat para sa pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Tanghal! Kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Invocation will be delivered by the Director of Chaplain Service, Police Brigadier General Jason O. Ortizo. With all humility in our hearts, let's bow our heads and recognize the holy presence of the Lord in our midst. Let us pray. Almighty God, we proclaim your glory and raise to you our gratitude and appreciation for the exemplary career of our outgoing chief PNP as he now retires from the service. Be with him, O Lord, 
as he remains to serve you in whatever capacity that may come his way. And please continue to sustain him with the abundance of your blessings. Let the legacy of his service serve as a beacon of inspiration for the entire organization. In like manner, we entreat you, Lord, to pour down your divine providence to our 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police. Grant him, dear God, the grace to step into this role with determination and lead the PNP to uphold the core values of the organization. Also, we pray that the bonds of camaraderie and mutual respect prevail, fostering a culture of collaboration and dedication to the noble cause of serving and protecting the people. In a very special way, we commend into your most gracious heart our beloved President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Please encompass him with your sacred heart and provide him with all the things he needs, especially courage, wisdom, and strength from on high so that our dear country will continue to grow in genuine progress. All this we pray in your most holy name. Amen. Please be seated. May we request President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to move forward for the presentation of troops and honors. Everybody is requested to rise. Tanghal! Ta! Mga pinuna. The regimental commander will now present the troop for inspection. His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, will now inspect the troops. May we request Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. to accompany our guest of honor and his speaker. The audience may not be seated.
Stripping the line, ladies and gentlemen, is the 17th President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. He is being accompanied by the Chief of Philippine National Police, Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. and Regimental Commander Police Major General Neil B. Alinsangan. Ladies and gentlemen, our honored guest, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Everybody is requested to rise. Once again, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. Please be seated. Awards and decorations are recognition of the accomplishments while in the public service and display the highlights of his career. We shall now proceed to the awarding of the Presidential Legion of Honor Award. Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. is requested to rise and move forward. Mrs. Oliva A. Accorda is requested to accompany the Chiba PNP as he receives the award. May we request the Presidential Protocol and Presidential Assistant on Foreign Affairs, Ms. Rachel P. Quinones, to read the citation. Citation reads as follows. Be it known to all men by these presents that I, Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr., President of the Philippines, by virtue of the powers vested me by law, have caused to be inscribed in the roster of the Philippine Legion of Honor the name of Benjamin Kasuga Acorda Jr., Police General, Philippine National Police, with the rank of Comandante or Commander, done in the city of Manila this first day of April in the year of our Lord, 2024. May we request President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to confer the award. Congratulations, Police General Benjamin Accorda Jr. And thank you very much, His Excellency Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Please be seated. The Director for Personal and Records Management, Police Major General Belly Tamayo, will now read the termination and designation orders. Republic of the Philippines National Police Commission, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, Quezon City. 
Termination of designation. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO TDS 2024-1985, dated March 31, 2024, the designation of Police General Benjamin Casuga Acorda Jr., ODA 07002, as the Chief Philippine National Police, is terminated effective March 31, 2024. Designation. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO DS 2024-1986, dated April 1, 2024. Police General Romel Francisco Dialig Marville, ODA 00826, is designated as the Chief Philippine National Police Effective April 1, 2024. By the direction of President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., official. Benjamin C. Abalus Jr., Secretary, Department of the Interior and Local Government, signed Belly B. Tamayo, Police Major General, the Director for Personnel and Records Management. The 29th Chief PNP, Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr., will now read and sign the order for his relinquishment of command. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO TDS. 2024-1995, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, dated March 31, 2024. I hereby relinquish my position as Chief, Philippine National Police, effective March 31, 2024, and I sign. The incoming Chief PNP, Police General Romel Francisco Marbil, will now read and sign the order for his assumption of command. Assumption of command. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO DAS 2024-1986, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, dated April 1, 2024, I hereby assume the position as Chief Philippine National Police, effective April 1. 2024, and I sign. We shall now witness the turnover of command symbol. May we request the President of Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr., to rise and administer the turnover of command symbol. The turnover of the Chief PNP symbol signifies relinquishment of the outgoing Chief PNP and the acceptance of the incoming Chief PNP of the duties and responsibilities that goes with the position. The saber represents power and authority over the 228,000 members of the Philippine National Police from the 17 police regional offices and 33 national support units. Thank you, His Excellency, and congratulations, Philippine National Police. <laughs> Kindly be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will witness the retirement honors for Police General Benjamin Casuga Accorda Jr., the 29th Chief, Philippine National Police. Police General Accorda is requested to move at the center. We all rise for the presentation of troops and honors. Tanghal!
la madre. No. Baba. Ta. The regimental commander will now present the troop for inspection. You know, anda na po, talupad para limutin. Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. will now inspect the troops. May we request Police Lieutenant General Emmanuel B. Peralta to accompany our honoree. Audience may now be seated. Our honoree hails from Bacara, Ilocos Norte. He is a graduate of the Philippine Military Academy, some BC class of 1991. He embodied the virtues of courage, humility, and unwavering dedication. His brand of leadership has exemplified him as a humble public servant. Upon his assumption, our honoree introduced the five-focused agenda, a solid strategic plan of the PNP, which centers on the five key areas critical to the attainment of the PNP's mission. The strategic framework calls for a unified Philippine National Police, to ensure peace and security in support to the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028. Trooping the line, ladies and gentlemen, is the 29th Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda Jr. He is being accompanied by the Deputy Chief PNP for Administration, Police Lieutenant General Emmanuel B. Peralta and the Regimental Commander, Police Major General Neil B. Adinsan. For him, the PNP was not just an organization, but a family recognizing the collective efforts and shared values of all its members. He sought to instill a sense of unity and belongingness. During his tenure, our honorary exemplified that patriotism and leadership were traits reserved for the upper echelons of power. He believed that Filipinos should rally around one another, united in purpose, standing together as one. He understood that the true progress could only be attained when the entire nation, not just a selected few, contributed to the greater good. By humility, compassion, and patriotism that course through his veins, our honoree was a humble leader and servant who led with his heart, forever etching his name in the annals of service and sacrifice for a greater Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, our humble public servant, the 29th Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda Jr. Everybody is requested to rise once again, our honoree, Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda Jr. Please be seated. The Philippine National Police confers awards and medals to its members in due recognition of outstanding performance of police function, display of skills, competence, and excellence. We shall now proceed to the presentation of awards and memento to our honoree. May we request Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. to rise. Likewise, may we request Mrs. Oliva A. Accorda to join. To present the award is the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. To be assisted by Secretary Benjamin C. Abalus Jr. 
Department of the Interior and Local Government. For his exceptional performance of major responsibilities as the Chief Philippine National Police from April 24, 2023 to March 31, 2024, Police General Benjamin Accorda Jr. took the challenge to lead the PNP with great determination and persistence to effectively address the pressing concerns confronted by the PNP. Medalya ng Katapatan sa Paglilingkod is hereby awarded to Police General Benjamin Kasuga Acorda Jr. For completing 37 years, a month, and nine days of faithful and honorable service with the Philippine National Police from April 1, 1986 to March 31, 2024, Medalya ng Paglilingkod with three silver star for 37 years, a month, and nine days is hereby awarded to Police General Benjamin Kasuga Acorda Jr. A gallery of awards is likewise presented. A command saber is also given to our honorary. This saber symbolizes power and authority exercised through leadership and responsible dominion over his subordinates and with close adherence to the principle of gentle manliness. With this saber, the recipient is likewise given the honor and recognition for offering his years of invaluable and noble service to the PNP organization and country. Once again, congratulations, sir, Police General Accorda, and to our presenters, kindly be seated. <laughs> and now, we will hear the valedictory of the honorary. Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda Jr. To our guest of honor and speaker, who will be introduced later, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., sir, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, at the same time our Commander in Chief. The Executive Secretary, Retired Chief Justice Lucas Bersamin, sir. The Secretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, Attorney Benjamin Avalos, Jr., sir. To the incoming Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Romel Francisco Marbil. Oh. Other distinguished guests, friends, my classmate from the Philippine Military Academy, some big class of 1991, the commanders of area police commands, members of the PNP directorial staff, personal staff, director of the national support units, regional directors, District Directors of NCRPO, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to all. On April 24, 2023, here on the same ground, I stood before you and committed myself to do my best and lead by example as your 29th Chief 
of the Philippine National Police. As I address you this momentous morning, I am filled with mixed emotions. As I bow down, I am overwhelmed with sense of accomplishment, gratitude, and nostalgia. Una sa lahat, gusto ko pong pasalamatan ang Panginoon sa patnubay at kalaman na maglingkod sa bayan. To our President, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., sir, my heartfelt gratitude for trusting me to lead the 232,000 strong police force. Your visionary has been the driving force behind our achievements. Your call for United Police Force has deeply resonated within our ranks. And with your administration support, we have made significant accomplishments in capacity building and implemented systematic approach to maintain law and order. I sincerely hope that during my 11 months tenure as Chief PNP, our contributions have aligned with your aspirations for a bagong Pilipinas, building a more peaceful, just, and humane society, paving the way towards a more comfortable life for every Filipino. Under your direction, we have embarked on a journey towards a better future, and I'm honored and grateful for the opportunity to have been part of this endeavor. Sir, if I fell short of your expectations, I will take full responsibility. But I say, I did my best. If I happen to exceed your expectation, I humbly attribute our achievements to the men and women of the PNP, from the command group down to the policemen in the streets, as well as to our non-uniformed personnel, especially to the families of those who selflessly sacrifice their lives just to fulfill your marching order, that is, to make our presence felt on the streets, make the community safer, and to defend our democratic institutions, our cherished ideals. In this span of 11 months, we have achieved significant milestones. Our relentless pursuit of operational excellence and administrative efficiency has led to a notable reduction in crime rates, ensuring the safety and security of our communities. Our devotion to duty was evident in the seamless and secure conduct of various significant events, such as the 2023 Barangay and Sangunyang Kabataan elections, the celebration of Bundas 2023, and the Yulitaid season of 2023, the Philippine hosting of the FIBA World Cup, SONA 2023, and others. Through collaborative efforts with various government agencies, we have proven that unity can yield extraordinary results. Our collective actions have earned the trust and confidence of our fellow Filipinos. With a resounding 80% expressing their trust in us, additionally, the PNP now proudly stands among the top 10 government agencies, boasting a 100% resolution rate in complaints referred by the Civil Service Commission contact number or contact center ng Bayan. Our unrelenting efforts have significantly contributed to the country being ranked as the third safest in Southeast Asia as per 2023 Global Law and Order Report by Gallup. As I personally push for the upliftment of the morale and welfare of our personnel, on March 25, 2024, we have promoted a record of 49,125 
second level officers from police lieutenant colonels to police corporal. This achievement will be forever adds in my heart with a sense of accomplishment to have rewarded the sacrifices and hard work of our PNP personnel. Your commitment, even at the risk of sacrificing your lives, epitomizes true service to our nation. These unprecedented, unpre unprecedented milestones are not possible if not by the unity and harmonious collaboration, coordination, and support of our units. As I pass the leadership baton to the capable hands of the 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Romel Francisco Marbil, I want to express my sincere gratitude and apprehension to, appreciation to all your support, faith, and trust. To the men and women of the PNP, thank you for your unwavering commitment to Servisyong Nagkakaisa. I am proud to have served alongside each one of you. None of these achievements would have been possible without your passion, hard work, and sacrifices. I also express my gratitude to all the units where I had the privilege to lead and serve. The Directorate for Intelligence, Police Regional Office 10, CIDG, ACG, IMEG, NCRPO, Basilan PPO, Ilocos Norte PPO, and Pro4B. I likewise extend my appreciation to the Secretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, Attorney, Abalos, Attorney Benjamin Abalos Jr., sir, to the members of the command group, Director of Staff, APC Commanders, Regional Directors, NSU Directors, and my personal and special staff. To PMA Sambisi Class of 1991, my dear classmates, I am very much grateful that through your support, we have transformed and built a better PNP. To the individuals I consider as silent workers, who have supported me behind the scenes. They are my friends who have provided never-ending support during crucial times. I may not be able to mention their names, but they know who they are. Their support truly means a lot to me. I would like to acknowledge also our PNP Press Corps and all our media friends. Your continued support has been helpful, not only to my leadership, but to the, to the entire PNP. Your fair and objective reporting greatly contributed to fostering transparency and understanding between the PNP and the public. Also, my sincerest appreciation to all our stakeholders, particularly our civil society groups and PNP advisory groups from, from various sectors, thank you for your continued support and partnership. A special mention also to my long departed boss and mentor, Police General Leandro Mendoza, the former Chief PNP, Chief PNP, whose professional ethics and conduct of service became my standard in public service. I would be remiss not to acknowledge the pillars of my strength, my family, my parents who instilled in me the values of honor, duty, and service. Thank you. Though my father is no longer with us, I feel his presence in the ideals he imparted. My mother, Mrs. Purification Accorda, who until this day has been my biggest motivator and critic. To my siblings, Aurora, Trinidad, Vic and Philip, thank you for your unending support. To my loving wife, Oliva, and children, JR, Andrew, Louis, and Nicole, you have been my bedrock, my confidante, and my inspiration. Thank you so much for all the years, love, support, and 
understanding. Looking back on my 37 years, one month, and nine days of military and police service, I take great pride in saying I have done my best and will always cherish the moments I spent with all of you. As I hung my blue uniform, I am humbled and honored to have served alongside such extraordinary individuals. May we continue to be blessed by our almighty creator as we strive to provide service that unifies and uplifts. Sir, as I bow down from the PNP organization, I assure you that I will leave a united professional and dedicated police force with burning sense of patriotism. Sa lahat po ng nandirito ngayon, bawat miyembro ng kapulisan at sa buong sambayan ng Pilipino, I am proud to say that we have a patriotic president who puts the best interest of the country above anything else. Sinasabi ko po ito, hindi dahil ikaw ang aming commander-in-chief, sir, but because in all my meetings and dealings with you, Mr. President, naramdaman ko po ang totoong pagmamahal ninyo sa bansa. I am happy to have served and lead the PNP organization with you as our Commander-in-Chief. Maraming maraming salamat po. At sa muli, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang servisyong nagkakaisa. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas and I salute you. Thank you very much, sir. Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda Jr. Police Major General Belly B. Tamayo, the Director for Personal and Records Management, will now read the retirement order. Republic of the Philippines, National Police Commission, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, Quezon City. Retirement. Pursuant to General Order No. NHQ-GO-CR-2023-13, dated January 5, 2023, and General Order No. 225, dated December 5, 2023, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Police General Benjamin Kasuga Acorda Jr., ODA 07002, is compulsorily retired from the PNP service effective March 31, 2024. By command of Police General Acorda Jr., official John A. Arnaldo, Police Lieutenant General, the Chief of Directorial Staff. Signed, Belly B. Tamayo, Police Major General, the Director for Personnel and Records Management. A personal flag is an indicative of his authority or command, the lowering of which signifies the handling over of his responsibilities attached to his position. At this time, requesting the Chief Executive Senior Police Non-Commissioned Officer, Police Executive Master Sergeant Louis S. Makilan, for the lowering and preservation of encased personal flag. Mahal na pinuno, handa na po sa iyong kautusan. No.
To Police General Accorda, sir, thank you very much and kindly be seated. And now, the recitation of the retirement of the PNP badge. May we request Police Lieutenant Benjamin A. Accorda III and Ms. Purificacion Nicole A. Accorda for the reading of the PNP badge. May we request Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. to rise and move forward. Police, General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda Jr. Upon taking the oath and assumption to office, the Filipino people and the Constitution vested you with the power and authority as a law enforcer. As such, you implored the aid of the Almighty. The authority is symbolized by the PNP badge. It is a badge of honor placed near your heart to remind you of your duty to enforce the law without fear or favor. To protect the rights of the people, especially the weak, the poor, and the marginalized. At the center of your badge is the PNP seal held bravely by our hero, Lapu-Lapu, the first Filipino to defend our country against foreign invaders. Hence, your badge symbolized your selfless sacrifice and willingness to die in the service of God, country, and people. On your badge are the virtues of service, honor, and justice which you lived out with unwavering commitment. You kept the badge unsolid and free of any breach of fidelity. You endeavored to avoid any aspersion against our institution. You preserved our cherished police customs and traditions and never countenanced any deviation from them nor allowed them to be infringed. Police General Benjamin Kasuga for the Junior. You were a police officer. You have borne your badge with honor and pride. Now, after 37 years, one month, and 14 days of faithful police service, and upon your retirement day, it is now time to retire your badge. You may now detach your bride, your badge. Welcome home, Papa. With dignity and honor, I am now turning over my PNP badge, which is the symbol of the power and authority vested upon me as a police officer. May we now request President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. to accept the PNP badge of Police General Accorda. To Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda Jr., sir, Thank you very much for your service to our country. A warm applause, please. We shall now come to the oath-taking, donning of ranks to the newly appointed Chief PNP. The Director for Personal and Records Management, Police Major General Belly B. Tamayo, will now read the promotion orders. Republic of the Philippines National Police Commission, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, Quezon City. Promotion, pursuant to General Order Number NHQ-GO-PR-2024-1994, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, dated April 1, 2024. 
Police Major General Romel Francisco Dailig Marbil. ODA 00826 is promoted to the rank of Police General in permanent status, effective April 1, 2024. By the direction of President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., official Benjamin C. Abalos Jr., Secretary, Department of the Interior and Local Government, signed Beli Bitamayo, Police Major General, the Director for Personnel and Records Management. At this moment, we shall witness the oath-taking and donning of ranks of the 30th Chief PNP. To administer the oath is the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. For the solemnity of the ceremony, everybody is requested to rise. Congratulations, warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. And now, may, may we request for the donning of the new rank insignia, may we request the president. Likewise, may we request our SILG Secretary Benjamin C. Abalos Jr., the Department of Local Interior and Local Government. To our audience, Please be seated. So at this time, we are witnessing the new rank insignia is being done by the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Together with SILG Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr., Likewise, the new Persian cap is presented. Thank you very much. Warm applause, ladies and gentlemen, and hail to the new Chief Philippine National Police. Please be seated. 
At this time, may we request Police Executive Master Sergeant Louis S. McKillan, Chief Executive Senior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for the raising of the personal flag of the 30th Chief PNP. Requesting the Chief PNP to rise and move forward. Mahal na pinuno, handa na po sa iyong kautusan upang itaas ang iyong watawat. Raising a personal flag symbolizes authority and signifies that a new leader rises and is in charge of the Philippine National Police. Ano po nuno? Tapos na po ang pagtaas ng iyong personal na matawad. the 30th Chief of Philippine National Police for his inaugural speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Police General Romel Francisco Di Marbil. Troop Commander, please give Tika Spina. Tika! Our Excellency uh, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., sir, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, with our Chief Justice uh, Lucas P. Bersamin, our Executive Secretary, Attorney Benamin uh, C. Abalos Jr., our Secretary for DILG, and the outgoing uh, Chief PNP, uh, my classmate, General Acorda. To other esteemed guests present today, my fellow Pilipinos, magadang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ang pangarap ko ay pangarap nyo rin. Patatag na ekonomiya, maayos na lipunan at maayos na kapulisan. Yan po ang unang kataga na sinabi ng ating presidente during the inauguration. Ang masasabi ko po sa anyong Excellency, Sir, matutupad po. First, my deepest gratitude goes to our Almighty God for the blessing with this opportunity to serve my beloved country and fellow Filipinos. I'm truly grateful to our President, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., for the honor you bestowed upon me today. Thank you, Pusa. By entrusting me with this significant responsibility, thank you for your trust and confidence in me to lead the Philippine National Police. And I assure you that all dedicated members of the PNP stand ready to work tirelessly with you to drive real change toward achieving the collective vision of a bagong Pilipinas. Honorable Secretary Benamin Abalos Jr. of the Department of Interior Local Government, sir, thank you for your commitment and support to the PNP. To Police General Benamin Acorda Jr. on behalf of the officers, staff, and women of the Philippine National Police, Sir, thank you po for your leadership, loyalty, and dedication and service. My family, especially my beloved wife, Rose, our daughter, Robin, who is at the heart of both our joy and pride and inspiration, my parents, Milano and Felicitas Marbil, and my brothers, thank you so much for your unconditional love and support. Rose, I know that it is not easy being married to a policeman. I remain ever so thankful for your unselfish love and understanding taking care of our family when I am away on missions and assignments. You are the, the true anchor of our family. This year, 2024, is my 33rd year of service in the Philippine National Police. 
Throughout the years, I have witnessed the enormous amount of change that our society has undergone and the rate of speed in which these changes have occurred and are occurring. These present-day social and techno technological changes have an enormous influence and impact in policy. The growth of public infrastructure has led to greater accessibility and enhanced mobility with tools of instantaneous communication, visual and audio, including social media, many Filipinos are able to communicate their content and discontent, their needs and expectations of good and respons responsive public service on both the national and global stage. We are also seeing new forms of criminal criminality evolve wherever there is an opportunity to exploit the weaknesses that advancement brings. The dynamics of society in which we operate are changing and with it, it, and with it our scope of responsibility are evolving. Yet, despite all this, our goals and duties as law enforcers remain absolutely and irrevocably the same. The Philippine National Police has seen noteworthy progress and benefited from the vision, leadership, and achievements of my predecessors throughout the years. As the 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police, it is my intention to build on the strides made so far to ensure that there is both continuity and improvement, that the PNP remains effective at its job while evolving to become a modern Filipino police force for a modern Filipino society. To increase our effectivity as an organization and as individual law enforcers, we will focus on three things. First, the quality of leadership, knowledge and ability, and professionalism within the ranks. Second, expanding our ability to uphold the law, maintain order, and fight local and transnational crimes in all forms and manifestations. To this end, we commit to utilizing the best and innovative practices in law enforcement. And third, but not the least, we will strive to increase the level of trust that the people we protect have in us. We will focus on increased community satisfaction in our work as a key benchmark of our progress. We will work on enhanced partnerships with the local community because safety and order ultimately require our collaborative efforts. I am therefore committed to ensuring that each and every member of the Philippine National Police, including future recruits, will be supported in developing, improving, and refining the skills that are needed in our line of work and for your career and progression as law enforcers. More than ever, we need officers possessed with critical thinking and problem-solving skills to address the many unique situations that arise, and in particular, to become catalysts for the changes we need in the organization, to become better and more efficient at what we do. We need officers who can communicate with public well, display empathy, and conduct themselves at all times responsibly, ethically, and morally. We need officers who recognize that it is simply not enough to act decisively, relentlessly, and fast in the war against crime, but that there must be also be accountability and transparency on our end. And most importantly, we will nurture police officers to whom a human approach to law enforcement is a given. Investing in you is an investment in the future of the Philippine National Police. Remember, to the, the PNP, you are your, your mentors, teachers, trainers, and leaders by example. To the incoming generation of police officers who will one day take our place. With our president's call for Bagong Pilipinas, the Philippine National Police has the unique opportunity to re-envision many of its management and operational approaches. We will be looking at the infrastructure and membership of this organization critically, employing a holistic approach to assess and determine ways by which we can increase effectivity, efficiency, and productivity throughout the 17 police regional offices, 102 provincial and city police offices, and 1,824 city and municipal police stations 
that spread across the 17 regions of the Philippines. There will be emphasis on developing and improving, improving competen competencies and compliance, optimization of resources, responsible cost allocations, elimination of redundancies, increased safety and well-being of police officers, and adoption of systems and processes that will facilitate positive and su sustainable changes. Leadership by example will be the backbone of our operational motto as we continue the fight against illegal drugs, domestic crime and violence, organized crime, human trafficking, radicalization, violent extremists, terrorism, cybercrime, and other transnational and non-traditional security challenges. We shall place utmost importance on pol police community engagement, working together in reducing crime through education, community partnerships and policing, and the use of emerging technology and social media. As we put transformative policies in place, we shall also seek for the seamless alignment with other Philippine government agencies for collaborative undertakings when and where necessary. We shall aim to have shorter lines of communications, improve coordination and readiness, as well as clearly defined parameters of tasks and responsibilities. Furthermore, in our role as international partners of law enforcement agencies for other countries, fighting transborder criminality and terrorism, we shall be vigilant and uncompromising in using all means at our disposal to stop these global threats from gaining a solid foothold in our society. The Philippine National Police recognizes that effective law enforcement nowadays requires competency and innovation in the use and application of technology to its overall operation and daily work. While I recognize that putting a comprehensive technology infrastructure in place is one of the major challenges for the PNP, I am confident that, that, that with careful management and selective priorities, we can achieve this goal in a timely fashion. To begin, we shall prioritize integrating the PNP secured mobile artificial intelligence driven and real time smart policing program and ICT development roadmap in our operations, including an active drive to recruit and train a new generation of police officers and support staff with technical expertise and specialized IT skills. In closing, mahusay, matatag, at maaasahan na kapulisan. This is our promise and commitment to our country as we undertake the internal and external changes necessary to improve our services to you. Expect that your PNP will do its best to safeguard the community it serves because we understand how safety, peace, and order are intrinsically connected to economic growth and progress. Itataguyod natin ang isang ligtas na bagong Pilipinas, ligtas na tahanan, at ligtas na pamayanan. I look forward to my duties and I thank the President our Secretary, and the PNP and the community in advance for their active participation and support in realizing a safe country for all. May God continue to bless all of us and give us strength and inspiration in the work we do. Dito, sa bagong Pilipinas, isa lang ang gusto ng pulis, ligtas ka. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you and congratulations, sir. Manda. Lupad! Da! To introduce our honored guest, may we request retired Chief Justice Lucas P. Bersamin, Executive Secretary, Office of the President of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you.
Thank you, uh, Executive Secretary uh, Luke Bersamin. Uh, please uh, take your seats. Troop Commander, will you give uh, the order of Tikas Pahinga once again? Tika! No! No, no. Tika. No. To uh, the excellencies of the diplomatic corps, Interior and Local Government Secretary uh, Ben Hur Abalos Jr., the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Romeo S. Browner Jr., and the Major Service Commanders here today, Outgoing Chief, Philippine National Police General Benjamin C. Acorda Jr., our incoming Chief, Philippine National Police General Romel Francisco Marville, officers and civilian employees of the Philippine National Police, my fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, what we witness is not just a change of command, but a pledge to stay the course and to step up work. In the PNP, leadership changes and new assignments are given, but the mission remains to serve and to protect our people. One, also, one goal also remains constant for the PNP, that the PNP does not sit content on its laurels won, but works hard to win more so. The PNP tradition that as soon as the bar is surpassed, it is then raised. The drive to do better, to push harder, is what has fueled the PNP's aspiration to set new standards. This ceremony is not meant as a farewell to General Acorda, but a chance to acknowledge and congratulate him for his efforts, his patriotism, his unwavering dedication to ensuring the safety and security of our people. <laughs> During his time as Chief PNP, he introduced the Five Focused Agenda which guided the organization towards more honest law enforcement operations, enhanced information technology capabilities, and stronger community relations. The PNP's efforts in combating various forms of crime have yielded tangible results, which exhibit the diligence of our officers and personnel, as well as the effectiveness of our programs. In a survey conducted by Okta Research last year, the PNP was recognized as the third highest performing and most trusted among 25 government agencies in the second quarter of 2023, <laughs> receiving a 76% trust rating. This indicates the public's increasing trust and confidence in the police force. With all these, I believe the best send-off gift that we can give General Accorda is neither the usual memorabilia nor the typical testimonials. The best parting token that we can offer him is the pledge to exceed what he has done during his watch and to continue the good work that he has begun. <laughs> I am sure nothing will make General Benji Accorda happier than seeing the organization he loves so much, able to undo all the previous achievements of the PNP. So for all these and more, I congratulate and salute General Accorda for a job well done. Now, we pass the privilege of leading the PNP to be a more efficient, transparent, and trustworthy in these challenging and promising times. With our heartfelt congratulations, we welcome Police General Romel Francisco Marbil, who will assume the responsibilities of the 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police. <laughs> Police General Marbil, you have my full confidence and my full support as you begin to champion a police that is pro-God, pro-country, pro-people, pro-environment. Let us work closely with you 
in, under, in addressing emerging threats such as cybercrime, terrorism, and transnational crimes. We shall continue to uphold the highest standards of professionalism and give the finest service to our beloved citizens. Let us now ensure that the PNP will be agents of progressive transformation in the lives of our people by ensuring the safety and well-being of every community in the land. And so before I close, I wish to extend my gratitude to the more than 230,000 men and women of the PNP who have been instrumental to the success of your organization and our development as a nation. I wish to extend my sincere appreciation to your families for their sacrifices and those sacrifices that they continue to make as they understand the demands attached to the uniform that you wear. With Police General Marbil as our 30th PNP chief, I enjoin everyone to face the coming days with even greater fervor, determination, and optimism to achieve our goals and aspirations for the nation. Let us remain vigilant in the face of challenges and opportunities as we strive to build a Bagong Pilipinas where everyone can thrive and live in peace. Mabuhay ang ating kapulisan. Mabuhay ang Bagong Pilipinos. Maraming salamat at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Talupad! Da! Please be seated. The PNP truly appreciates the presence of the guest of honor and speaker. And at this time, the PNP would like to present a memento to the President, requesting President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to rise and receive the memento. May we likewise request Police General Accorda and Police General Marbil to please rise and present the memento. The first is the personal memento from Police General Accorda, the FEMAR EO5171. This is built in 1982 in Cebu as a gift to the late Ferdinand Marcos Jr. for appreciating the craftsmanship of our gun makers in the country. FEMAR stands for Ferdinand E. Marcos with serial number EO5171. Warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, Police General Marbil would like to present the Sterling submachine gun. This is a British submachine gun used for many years. It was made to replace the stern gun and entered service with British military in 1953. Crafted with precision and reliability, it earned its reputation as dependable companion in the field. It is compact and lightweight, suited for close quarters engagement. For those who carried it, it is a symbol of duty, honor, and service. Warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. Manatili po tayong nakatayo. Magsitayo ang lahat at ating awitin ang PNP lingkod ng bayan.
Please be seated. We shall now witness the passing review. We would like to request President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. together with Police General Benjamin C. Acorda Jr. to move at the center to acknowledge the troops during the pass and review. Mahal na Pungulo, anda na po ang talupad para sa pasamsin. Punan, malikod. Kup! Pasa! Masin! Harap sa kanan! Harap! Pasulo! Ladies and gentlemen, the pass in review. Good. Gentlemen, once again, good morning. Approaching is the regimental commander, Police Major General Neil Alinsangan, together with the regimental staff, Police Brigadier General Nicolas Torre, Police Brigadier General Noel Sandoval, Police Brigadier General Rogelio Simon, Police Brigadier General Restituto Arcangel, and Police Brigadier General Nestor Babagay Jr. The PNP band from the headquarters support service. Okay. First Battalion Commander, Police Brigadier General Noel Valio, the staff of the First Battalion, Police Colonel Fernando Cunanan Jr., Police Colonel Virgilio Villoria, Police Colonel George De Palo Jr., Police Colonel Marshall Paclibon, Alpha Company Commander and Staff, Cadet First Class Isaiah Sam Ramon Natoycad, Cadet First Class John Mark Rainer Julio, Cadet First Class Lawrence Gabriel Gardiola, Cadet First Class E.C. Jaber Sandayan, First Platoon Leader, Cadet First Class Jake Anthony Zamora, First, Second Platoon Leader, Cadet First Class Christopher Kawi, Third Platoon Leader, Cadet First Class Paolo Kyle Apostol, and Fourth Platoon Leader, Cadet First Class Raven James Maligaya. The Bravo Company Commander and Staff, Police Lieutenant Colonel Zakari Capelan, Police Major Cecinado Andal Jr., Police Major Aladin Malinas, First Platoon Leader, Police Major Eric Cabral, Second Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Jason Guevara. Third Platoon Leader, Police Captain Eduardo Ducanes. And fourth platoon leader, Police Lieutenant Joe Carlo Leocadio. And the caller officer, Police Captain Michael Ulaivar. We all rise, ladies and gentlemen, the callers. Thank you. Please be seated. Second Battalion Commander, Police Brigadier General Dindo Reyes. The staff of Second Battalion, Police Colonel Jerome Kisal, Police Colonel Arturo Brual, Police Colonel Algen Taba, and Police Colonel Junifer Batutai. 
Charlie, oh. Company Commander oh. and Staff, Police Lieutenant Colonel Marlon Ancheta, Police Major Nico Joshua Manantil, Police Major Kenneth Longan, First Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Kirk Lee Bawi, Second Platoon Leader, Police Captain Arvin Dimaili, Third Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Billy Matias, and Fourth Platoon Leader, Police Captain Rogen Rodriguez. Delta Company Commander and Staff, Police Lieutenant Colonel Bernoli Avalos, Police Major Dennis Mancenido, Police Major Albert Bucal, First Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Ray Mark Dagancan, Second Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Neil Garnase, Third Platoon Leader, Police Captain Raymond Abelia, Fourth Platoon Leader, Police Captain Elvin Olmedillo. And that concludes the ceremony. On behalf of the men and women of the Philippine National Police, we would like to thank the President and our distinguished guests for gracing this event.